Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to use Epidemic Sound for YouTube. I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to use Epidemic Sound music or sound effects in your YouTube videos. So step number one is to go to EpidemicSound.com and sign up for a membership. Consider using my link in the description. You will get a free seven day free trial, so it's awesome to try. So then what we do is next, we need to figure out a song to pick out, right? So I'd start by clicking on the music tab up here. And what I do is I usually just start scrolling and a lot of times I try to think of like what I need the song for like if it's background music I'll try to stick with like classical or jazz or easy listening so let's click on a little bit of jazz here you can choose how to populate it what I tend to do is choose by the popular these are the most popular jazz songs so there and again there's over 40,000 songs in epidemic sound so it's crazy guys there's a huge archive and all you have to do is play click the play button to the left of the song here and you'll notice below the soundtrack here there's little sections that you can also click on this is usually the most popular section of the song that is used but you can choose to use any of it so just have a listen and just go through them and decide which song you want in your YouTube video right or maybe it's a YouTube short whichever and then when you figured out the song all you have to do is come on over here to the right you can click this download button so let's go ahead and download that and you can choose do you want the full mix or do you want just a melody instrument bass you can segment it which is really cool I'm gonna go with the full mix you can choose your file format, MP3 versus WAVE. They're very comparable. WAVE is a little higher quality, I've been told, but it does, it's not a huge deal. Then click on the download button here. Then before you move forward here, if you haven't attached your YouTube channel here, all you have to do is paste the link to your YouTube channel here. That's how Epidemic Sound is going to know that your copyright is not gonna be on your channel, right? So paste your YouTube channel here, paste all of your socials in here. That's gonna help you from getting copyright. That's going to enable your channels to not get copyright strict. All right, so now that we have downloaded that, you know, pick out multiple songs if you want to, but now we're actually gonna go over to the video editor, right? Chances are that's where it's going to be at. If you're on your phone and you're doing a video editor there, what I would advise you to do is maybe upload it to Google Drive and then download it from your phone onto your phone. I'm gonna be using CapCut just because I live by this video editor. It's extremely easy to learn, it's free to start. Um, if, if you're new to video editing, this is gonna be a great choice. All I'm gonna do is drop and drag it down here. And all I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna use this as background music. So all I need to do here is I need to import the video into the editing timeline down here. Then if I click import, I should be able to choose my song here. I can see it's right here. It's called Easy Breeze by Victor Lundberg. So click there. And that brings the song into my CapCut video editor here now. Now to edit it on the video, all I do is left click and drop and drag it down into the video editor. And again, say if I wanted it in certain sections of the video, I can click on the song and I can drop and drag wherever I want it to. But I actually want, I want the song to be background music on this video. That's what I tend to do with a lot of these like talking head videos. As you can see here, if I scroll, this is what it looks like, right? And I just want background music. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna have a listen. Today I wanna do a comparison of Artlist versus Epidemic. And you can see here, that you can just barely hear it and that's perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off this intro by clicking and dropping and dragging that right there. And I'm gonna start it at the beginning of the video and then to turn down the volume of the audio or the song that I got from Epidemic Sound, just highlight the audio track here and then go up to the basic section and then turn down the volume. What I'll tend to do, see how the volume levels are getting lower here? I'll tend to do it like super low because with background music, we want this pretty dang low. So I'm gonna do like 25, 20, we'll do 21. Let's have a listen to that. Today I wanna do a comparison of Artlist. So it's really light background music. So this is how to use Epidemic Sound Music on your YouTube, it's extremely easy. Hit me up in the comments, let me know what you're stuck at. Do you have any questions, do you need help from me? And please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're on the fence about Epidemic Sound, I'll throw a link in the description. And also, there's another one of my favorites. Artlist is also another great choice. So those will be in the description. All right guys, see ya.